Hey guys, Ryan here with five quick and easy ways to improve your guitar playing. So we're going to move through these kind of quickly. So if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, go check it out. There you'll find more in-depth lessons over the things we're going to cover today, as well as all sorts of other cool little quick videos and lessons. So let's get started. Number one, learning the notes on the fretboard. This is a huge one, and I can't stress just how important it really, really is. So I'm sure that you've heard guitar players talk before about kind of unlocking the fretboard and things like that. And really, that's simply learning the notes on the fretboard. Once you do that, it kind of gives you a roadmap of where all you can go. Whether you're playing rhythm, lead, it doesn't really matter. Once you know the notes, it really does kind of give you a roadmap and you can kind of see where everything is and what you can do, where you can go, and things like that. Even if you're not real big on learning theory and things like that, just simply knowing the notes, it goes so far in, in helping with so many things. Just like learning how to play through chord changes, that's something that a lot of guitar players want to learn how to do. Learning the notes on the fretboard is kind of step one into doing that. And that leads us into number two, and that's learning how to move your chords up and down the neck. So just like taking a basic chord like G and playing it here, 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 you know, so on and so on. Learning how to move those chords, just those basic chords, up and down the neck. That's another way to help us learn how to play through chord changes. And just simply help us change up chord progressions a little bit to make them sound a little more interesting. So, you know, if you're playing in a band and there's two or three guitar players that are all doing this right here, you know, you can come down here and go... You can change it up a little bit. something like that. Just kind of giving new life to some chord progressions that you would normally play down here. So that's number two, learning how to move your chords up and down the neck. And that leads us to number three, and this is practicing with a metronome. Well, metronomes are easy to find. You can get them, you can download apps on our phones. They're free. You can use, you know, backing tracks on YouTube like this one right here. This channel has great backing tracks. You can use GarageBand to get drum tracks, you know, anything. If you feel like you're having kind of a hard time finding the groove or settling into a pocket or anything like that while you're playing, anything that has to do with your time, your timing, definitely practice with a metronome. There's nothing better that's gonna that's gonna make it sound that's gonna make you sound better, apart from playing with a real live band, unless their timing sucks. And you know, that happens sometimes. So practice with a metronome. That's that's important. Try it, check it out. And uh, let's go on to number four. So number four is practicing at home without using any effects. So you just plug your guitar straight into your amp, bypass all your effects. That way you don't even have the option to turn them on. And you try and play like that. <clears throat> this, to me, this is important because it really kind of, it forces you to dig into the instrument a little bit more. It kind of forces you to get sounds out of, the, out of the instrument that you didn't know were there sometimes, you know? Sometimes you have to take things away in order to do that. To take it even one step further, sometimes you can bypass the amp completely and just play completely unplugged, acoustic-like. And this really does kind of help your ear understand just the physical act of playing the guitar that can have the effect of, that can have the effect on your tone, you know, whether how hard you push here or how hard you're playing with your pick or your fingers or, you know, whatever. All of that has an overall effect on the tone in the end. So that's some stuff to kind of think about and experiment with. And number five, this one's pretty important too, and this is just listening. You know, if you want to learn a new style of music, you have to listen to that kind of music. I've had so many people in the past, students, come to me and say, hey, you know, I want to learn how to play blues or I want to learn how to play jazz, but they don't listen to that kind of music. And the first thing I do is I write down a list of albums and I say, go listen to these right here and come back next week. You have to listen to the kind of music that you want to learn how to play. There's just no way around it. Also, you have to listen to what your other musicians are doing on stage. If you're playing in a band or you're jamming with friends or even if you're just playing by yourself, sometimes using backing tracks or whatever, You've got to listen to what's going on in the music in order to find your place in the music. So kind of my rule of thumb is listen more, play less, rather than play more, listen less. Because anybody that plays more and listens less 
probably not somebody you want to be playing with. So those are five things that help improve your playing. I have to remind myself of these all the time. So, you know, it's just what it is. We all need help playing guitar. This is some of the stuff that I tell, that I tell myself all the time. So I hope you liked it. Let us know down below what you think is important in learning how to play guitar and learning how to improve and we will see you next time.